In this video, we'll look at how to add the HTML5 calendar widget onto a web page. First, here's what it looks like. Now I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Globalize, and WebAppJS. I've also referenced WebAppJS styles that correspond to the light theme. Like any widget from the WebAppJS library, the calendar widget can be created using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. I'll use the jQuery approach and create a calendar using the calendar plugin. To initialize the calendar widget, we need to add a container to a page and set up the calendar plugin. Let's see how it looks with the default settings. You can easily change a month or year and select a day. Now I'm going to restrict dates that are allowed for selection. For this, I'll define the min and max values. I'll also specify the calendar's first day of the week. Let's see how the calendar looks with these settings. The last thing I'll show you is how to obtain the selected date value. To do this, handle the value change action. To access the date selected by a user, refer to the object passed to the action. And let's see the result. And that's it. To learn more about the HTML5 calendar widget and how to customize it, refer to the corresponding documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.